Donald Trump gearing up for his big day in court after a grand jury last week voted to indict the former president for his alleged role in hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. I'm back with the fact check team. How often do grand juries indict, Connor? Well, it happens most of the time, Eugene. In fact, various studies have suggested a grand jury indictment is handed down in 95 to 99 percent of cases. Let's get some of the basics before we move on here. Explain some differences between a grand jury and just a regular trial jury. Yeah, sure. There's several. For example, grand juries usually meet over a longer amount of time have more jurors, and the rules for admitting evidence are much looser. But the ultimate goal of a grand jury is different as well. If we look at a criminal case, a grand jury does not evaluate whether the accused committed a crime. They just determine whether or not there is probable cause, which is a pretty low standard to bring charges. And there are skeptics who think that this isn't going to do all that great in court. Uh, so, Courtney, how likely is this uh, to turn into a conviction for the former president? It's hard to say because we won't know the full details on why the jury indicted him until tomorrow when they unseal that information. But based on what's publicly available right now, legal experts have pointed to some holes in the case. And what are some of those uh, weaknesses in the case? One is that Michael Cohen is not a credible witness because of his own convictions, including lying to Congress and his public disapproval of Trump. Another issue is that this case is over five years old, which may violate New York's statute of limitations if Trump can prove he was still a New York resident while he was president. And prosecutors may have to prove Trump knew the hush money payments were illegal, but Trump could argue that he thought Cohen was making them lawfully. Courtney, Connor, thank you for your work on this. And the fact your team's going to continue following developments on this and other issues for you. You can scan the QR code you see there on your screen to read this story with links to where they found their information or visit our website, thenationaldust.com.